Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at Audio Kit, which is an application for those of you that work with sound and audio, perhaps uh, as a profession or even as a hobby. This is a really neat tool to have uh, built into your iOS device. So what you can see right here is uh, the FFT spectrum, and it's measuring the frequencies that are coming out of my mouth right now as I talk. Now if I go to a signal generator, such as this one below, I can switch to, let's switch to a frequency, let's go to 2600, and let's generate a, a sine wave. Uh, notice that uh, that frequency shows up right here as a badge so that we can see what frequency we're on from other screens. Notice that solid 2600. Right, I'll go ahead and turn that off. So a couple things that I did as I was tapping around, we uh, were able to look at um, the frequency here and see the consistency. We have a capture screen button up at the top left that allows us to create a screen capture of this entire screen here. This is nice because then we can refer back to things later. If you were out in the field and you needed to record some sort of uh, frequency that's being put off, you can use the screen capture to just capture where that was at and then you have that information saved for later instead of pulling out a notebook and writing stuff down. We also have a vector scope right here that uh, you saw was responding to that signal that we were generating and you notice that I pinched it down so that everything fit into uh, the screen. Of course uh, that will change and you might need to adjust that based on the, in the input volume, the noise that's coming in, but it allows you to adjust that and make changes appropriately so that you can um, uh, fit everything in the screen. It also has a screen capture option up in the top left hand corner. Notice there's an information tab uh, little button right up here. This allows us to go with either fill or line. So notice we have fill right now and if we switch back we go to line. We also have a log or linear so we've got one and the other right now and then we have a help section in each section as well. So if we go over to scope, we've got a help section for that too. We can also switch between positive and negative zero crossing. The SPL meter, which measures our decibels, you'll notice has a maximum and a minimum, and it has been recording all this time, keeping track of the decibels uh, from my audio as I talk, and uh, the DBA of whatever else was going on, including that uh, signal that we were generating. I can hit reset right here to reset the minimum and the maximum. Notice it, it puts a spike right here like a marker to let you know uh, that is where it was reset. So beyond the signal generator being able to create sine waves with uh, any frequency over here, we can generate some white noise and some pink noise. Just tap off to turn it off. If we go into settings, we have spectrum settings right here. These are the startup settings that allow us to uh, set how we want that section of the app to respond when we start up the app. Of course, we can go in and make any changes that we want, but this is the startup settings that lets us control how we want it to show each time. Otherwise, it will revert back to these defaults. Uh, so if you want to set it up uh, so that it's appropriate to work the way that you want it to work, you just choose your settings and then go back. There's also a help tab up here in the top right um, that gives you information about the startup settings in case you get a little confused and need help there. The scope settings right here, positive or negative, these are the startup settings for that. So uh, depending on where you want that to be. And then our SPL settings, which there are not any uh, for startup. And then our signal generator um, reset. The, that's why it keeps resetting to 1200. If I want it to start off at 2600 every time, I just simply tap that. And then where do I want my volume to be at? Uh, so that way I don't have uh, too high or too low of a volume. So this is a really neat app that uh, is a very powerful tool to have in your pocket. Um, the devices that I know of, uh, with my limited knowledge, are relatively large that do this, and having uh, extra devices to carry around is a hassle, most of them requiring AC power. So having something like this in your pocket that has uh, these three different ways of measuring sound as well as some uh, signal generators is a very neat tool to have for such a small price. So definitely check out AudioKit. It's available for your iPhone, your iPod Touch, in the App Store.